Hello again everybody and um, here's a little activity to do. Uh, linked with the story because it's all about hands and feet we're going to um, make a, a, a little poster today to remind us of what uh, Peter was able to do for the blind man and also to remind us what we can do to help others. Um, so first of all we think about hands. Peter put out his hand to help the blind man, to, sorry the lame man and here is a hand we're going to, you're going to make one like this a hand and to make that you just need a piece of colored paper put your hand down on it and very carefully draw around your fingers and your thumb leaving a space between each and it will come out like that i've just done that one so uh, and then you cut it out that's the hard bit get somebody to help you if you can't cut out very well when you've cut it out it'll look like that now on the back on the front of the hand you're going to write uh, Peter helped the, the, the lame man and how can I help and who can I help and I want you in each of the fingers and the thumb to write the name of somebody you think you could help so there's my mum you could help your mum this week and how could you help her keep your bedroom tidy perhaps your dad how can you help dad how can you help your baby sister or your big brother or somebody else in your family maybe your nan maybe your granddad some think about people you can help five people you can help this week and then all you do is stick that down on your white paper so that it looks like that stick it at the top because we're going to keep some space there for your feet now of course this story this week was about feet and it was especially about the feet of a man who couldn't walk what i want you to do now is take off your shoe and draw round one of your feet. You don't have to draw on both, just draw round one or get somebody to draw round it for you in the same way as you drew round your hand. And then I want you to cut it out. And I want you to cut two out. So fold the paper into two and then cut out round the toes and round the, uh, the sole of the feet so you have two feet the same like this. And then we're going to think what feet represent. Yes, we all take them for granted, like we take our hands for granted. But if the man who, who couldn't walk had had better feet, he would have been all right. Now, this, they're not very good pictures of feet, but never mind, that that's, gives you the idea. On your foot, uh, well, the first one, I want you to write the word follow, because that's what... Jesus asked the disciples and he wants all of us to do. He wants us to follow and he wants to follow. Jesus and um, God want us to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. So we can write follow the footsteps. And it's just a reminder that that's what we must do this week. So in a pen, if you've got one, write follow the footsteps of Jesus on one of your feet and put that at the bottom there and then in the other foot you can write this about the story if you want to you can just write Peter's name Peter healed the lame man and that was because he had the power of the Holy Spirit and um, so we can write that by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit who came to him, as we heard in our story uh, a few weeks ago, and gave him plenty of um, power. And then you put your two foot, feet underneath your hand like that, and you have a, a little poster to remind you in the week of who we can think about and who we can help and who we must follow all the time. So I hope that will give you plenty to do um, uh, for a little while and um, keep happy and I hope to see you next week. Bye for now.